to life within three days to show the light the truth but you die for me i live for you i praise your name in all i do when we are down you lift us up we want to run you lift us up give me the key open the door into your heart i need no more you're the ocean where the sand we wait on shore for your command open my eyes so i can see the wonders of your majesty show me the way show me the way show me the light show me Back to Theology on Tap 2013! Woo! Guys, let's hear it for Pope Benedict. Viva il Papa! Okay, show me more love. We love Papa Benno. Viva il Papa! Yeah, that's more like it. Thanks, guys. It's so good to see such a huge crowd here tonight. This is actually probably the biggest tot we've had so far. And it's good enough because tonight, we young Australians are here to celebrate and appreciate the wonderful service of Pope Benedict. Now, I'd like to invite you all as we stand and begin the night with prayer. I'd like to pray tonight by sharing with you all the final words of Pope Benedict XVI's last general audience address in St. Peter's Square last week. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, God guides his church he sustains her always and especially in difficult times. Let us never lose the, this vision of faith, which is only the true vision of the church and the world. In our heart, in the heart of each of you, may there always be the joyous certainty that the Lord is near us. He does not abandon us. He is near us and surrounds us with his love. Let us invoke the maternal intercession of Mary, Mother of God and of the church that she accompany each of us and the whole ecclesial community, we entrust ourselves to her with deep confidence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If the world has learned anything this last eight years about this man, it is surely that he is a man of conviction and conscience. Pope Benedict will, I am sure, be remembered above all as a great teacher Pope. Ratzinger, the great thinker turned out to be Benedict, the great communicator of the faith, in the sense of one who nurtures his young people with his teachings. His unique command of the truths of the Catholic faith and his singular ability to make them come alive catechetically and homiletically were a great gift to us. He called us back to the foundations of our faith in scripture and tradition, the word of God alive and active in our day, is, was a hermeneutic of continuity. No pre-Vatican II church and post-Vatican II church, old-fashioned Catholic teaching and new-fangled Catholic teaching. No, the same Church of Christ extends across time and space and its understanding evolves organically unpacking what has been received rather than making radical breaks with past beliefs. Benedict was convinced that that evolving Catholic truth can speak volumes to our times and he contributed literally hundreds of those volumes himself. He also led for us a recovery of the consciousness of the beauty and solemnity of the sacred liturgy. There's no doubt this was one of the greatest teacher popes we've ever had. And if the church judges in due course that he was a saint, then I think it's very likely at the same time they'll judge that he's a doctor of the church. As a holy man himself, Benedict XVI recognised holiness in others. He recognised it in Mary MacKillop, a woman of faith who helped to build this nation especially through educating the poor. Australians also remember Benedict as our World Youth Day Pope. In Sydney, he engaged with half a million young people as their spiritual granddad. 
young people here in Sydney recognised that this Papa truly loved them. You know, they could encounter God's love in him. And this contributed to his confidence with crowds of youth in his subsequent travels out to Sydney. Tonight we give thanks to Almighty God for Pope Benedict. it out all these years um, yeah yeah um, I just want to say thank you as well and uh, it's too bad I don't get to see you because I'm actually going to uni to Rome um, this month and I was hoping to see you there but you're not gonna be there so I'm really sad but it's okay I guess um, <laughs> thank you and I guess once you leave this planet you can tell God about me and Rochelle my Michelle. name is Marielle and this is Rochelle and you can pray for us as well, that's all. <laughs> Bye! Hi! Hi! I'm Doris, this is Ethan and we're from Sydney, we just want to say thank you. Uh, writing a letter as well, enjoy reading it. <laughs> When you come across the name, Ethan Lee, just remember that, I said hi. Okay, thank you, God bless. Thank you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy.